Okay, so hi guys, I'm RJ. Um, for those of you who have not had to endure my chatty Cathiness and had the misfortune of that, uh, a little bit about me, I helped develop Solidity and work on the Ethereum Package Manager. And right now I'm gonna go hand it over to Zach, my colleague. Great, so RJ and I are on the platform team at Eris, and today we're gonna talk to you about chain orchestration tooling, which is what I focus on, and uh, smart contract package management, which is what RJ focuses on. On, next slide please. Okay, so what is Eris? Eris is tooling for developers. Um, we offer a chain maker, and this is, uh, it's got an interactive wizard, and it helps you set up uh, your chain, essentially, um, for different accounts, and the account types are an abstraction of our permissioning scheme. Um, and the permissioning scheme comes out of uh, ErisDB, which is our blockchain client that uses Tendermint proof of stake. Can everyone hear me? Cool. Um, and then we have the package manager, uh, and it's all wrapped up in a command line tool uh, that's do heavily Dockerized. Next slide, please. It's two, two things, but don't worry. All right, so this is what it looks like. So at Eris, we're providing uh, what you see in green. And so uh, through Docker, we can control all these different requirements for a blockchain application. Um, files, for example, we have a, an IPFS integration. Um, keys, we outsource that. The transaction and consensus engine, that's Tendermint, and et cetera. Next slide. Okay, so here's a demo. The internet gods uh, were not so nice. So uh, basically, the way that you would run Eris and start an Eris chain, you run Eris chains make, that will generate a key or several. Um, there's a whole slew of flags to do that. And then you start the chain, pass it the uh, directory where all these files were generated. Uh, and then you grab the address that you need, or a key, um, and you can see there that uh, you've got your keys service running, so the keys daemon is, is in its own Docker container, which makes it nice and modular. And then the chain, which I've named devcon2, uh, is also running. Um, and then the third command, basically, that you would run would be errors packages do. You give it the chain name, you give it the address that would have uh, contract deploy permission on that chain. Uh, and you're off to the races. So, so that command, errors packages do, would be ru run from a directory that will have um, your all your smart contracts and then the EPM YAML file, which RJ will be talking about uh, eventually. Next slide. No, forward. Let's go forward. One more. Yeah, great. Okay, so here, here's just to show you a little bit about uh, how we think uh, services and how a blockchain application platform should look like. Um, so I stopped keys, which was started earlier uh, by the chain maker. I've started IPFS, uh, and I've started the compiler service. And when I run RSLS, you can see that uh, keys is not running. It's got a dash. Compilers and IPFS, those are running, and the chain is also still running. So with IPFS running, we can do something simple like errors files put some random file, and that will spit you out the hash which you can then get uh, with Eris files get and give it an output, rename your file, or share it uh, with your colleagues. Next slide. Great. So um, on our roadmap, and this is where uh, Docker really shines, is uh, being able to modularize the ch client type and also the consensus type. So like I mentioned, ErisDB uses Tendermint um, under the hood as a proof of stake consensus algorithm. Uh, but there's been a lot of talk here and some interest by de various developers of getting Geth over TMSP. So TMSP is the Tendermint socket protocol that com can communicate uh, with any arbitrary client. Um, and so this, so you know, it would be interesting, and I, I would like to see uh, as many different clients, blockchain clients, uh, oh, and I forgot to mention, ErisDB has a full uh, re-implementation of the EVM. So all of your Solidity code that you've written and can deploy on the Ethereum testnet or mainnet uh, will work uh, on an ErisDB. Um, no, go back. Uh, what was my last point here? Uh, yeah, basically, so I envision, and we're working towards this, to be able to choose any client type, be it Geth, CPP, Parity, and choose any consensus type and mix and match. And so you could start five, 10 chains of any combination um, and, and do your benchmarks with that and, and to see what works best for your application. And I want to make one final point here. Uh, 
Yes, we make permission chains. We're not, we're not necessarily in the private chain space, and there's a crucial distinction there that the media hasn't um, noticed. And so, uh, yeah, we, we hope that you can try out our tool. And uh, up next, we'll talk. Hey, guys, uh, can I get the next slide, please? All right, so here I'm going to be presenting the Ares Package Manager, and I would like to go ahead and frame it as the ease of NPM, the simple coordination of, S of Chef, all running through Solidity. Now, uh, this runs through this simple workflow right here. Uh, there is a disclaimer, though, in an installer on the roadmap. They are not yet implemented, but it is simply just this. You just go ahead, initialize your project, install your dependencies, and deploy and run your code on your running chain. Uh, next slide, please. Why do we need another package manager? Why do we need to go ahead and have this when we have so many others to go ahead and handle ourselves? Well, there are specific problems inherent in utilizing blockchains and smart contracts. Uh, there's the problem of single versus multiple parties. Uh, what do we mean by this? Uh, in the top right, right here, um, you have the old traditional model. This was one person executing code in a file system that one computer and only that computer controlled. Uh, as Nikolai Meshegian from Dapol explained in his talk yesterday, we are in a completely new paradigm whereby code is not meant to be run in an isolated setting, but rather collaboratively acted upon as can be seen and displayed by the many smiling faces over here. Uh, this calls for a specific design to handle this new paradigm. Uh, secondly, at Eris, uh, we don't believe in a one chain to rule them all design and believe that the world will inherently cater to a multi-chain mindset. Even for those that do believe in a maximalist uh, one chain to rule them all world can agree that there is a high amount of utility in separated test networks for chains. This calls for package management uh, that can coordinate and maintain smart contracts over multiple chains and distributed ledgers. Thirdly, uh, verification, simple enough. We want to make sure that what we have exists on the chain and works as expected, and uh, expected that we're interacting with uh, an upside. Uh, fourth, finally, we have to keep in mind uh, contract reuse as we now are acting uh, in an environment where economics uh, is actually a factor in your code and calls for utilizing the least amount of resources, aka gas, as necessary. Uh, next slide, please. Moving to where EPM's chef-like qualities shine, uh, it's a little thing right here. The EPM, uh, the EPM YAML file is on the right, uh, and on my left is a Solidity smart contract that I thought would be good for this example. You can see right here that we have numerous different jobs running. We can go ahead and set an initial value that we want to go ahead and pass in. You go ahead and can create a deploy method, call the contract gsfactory.sol, and name an instance of it, and then go ahead and call that instance further on. Uh, then you can go ahead and continue to call the contract function for create at that uh, deploy GS contract. Uh, but for those who have been in the Unix system, this should be very familiar. You have a little dollar sign to go ahead and call back uh, what you already have set. Uh, you have the set storage, which will go ahead and call the set function and input the data from the set storage base made at the top, so passing in the number five. And you have a query contract, which now, uh, for now, forces the, uh, the chain to not be altered. Uh, next slide, please. All right, and uh, for finally, further on our roadmap, we are going to be looking to go ahead and integrate IPFS and Swarm because they kick ass, that's enough said. Uh, we are also going ahead with a life cycle management contract, and what that is that? That is a a uh, contract that functions as a single point of communication to deploy, update, link all, all your contracts. The best way to go ahead and frame this, for those of you who are familiar with NPM, would be it's like the uh, index.js uh, file. Uh, it is the entry point for all of your projects. Thirdly, chained runs. Uh, we are going to be going ahead and with that YAML file, you could go ahead and set out set jobs that go ahead and define how you think your project should run, and then you could chain them all throughout the dependency tree to all move up through and interact. And fourthly, of course, uh, dependency management. And with that, the next slide, I'm going to let Zach finish us off. Great, so if you want to get started on any platform, uh, it's a uh, quick out of the box. So Brew and Choco work out of the box. We just, uh, Choco got approved last week, um, and app get 
If you want to run it on Linux, just check out uh, our documentation. And finally, uh, join our Slack. It's open, um, and there's lots of users in there, and they can help you get started. Thank you. Thanks, RJ and Zach.